One of the biggest arguments by atheists against Christianity and against religion in general is, oh, when you're religious, you're in bondage, you know, you have to serve a God, you're not happy. Well, this is not true, actually. In fact, studies have shown that atheists are actually less happier than religious people, and that atheists, even atheists themselves, admit that atheism has a higher, su higher suicide rate, that atheists have a much higher suicide rate. Let me show you some proof on that. Here's an article on the Huffington Post, and this is written by an atheist. So they're admitting this. This is from an atheist. He says, atheism has a suicide problem. Depression is a serious problem within the greater atheist community and far too, and far too often. And depression has led to suicide. Uh, there is some, or, uh, there's something that many of my fellow atheists don't uh, often like to admit, but it's true. I know a lot of atheists, myself included, so the guy's an atheist, would like to all believe that atheists are happy than, happier than religious people, but in, and in many ways we are, probably not, uh, but we like... Uh, but we have to accept the reality that in some very important ways, we are not. Right out of the horse's own mouth. An atheist admits that atheism has a suicide problem. Well, there was a study that was done uh, recently, you know, a couple years ago. And a psych psychologist at the University of Michigan surveyed 19,775 people. And they found that among uh, people who, feel, who do feel lonely, those people who in a religion are less likely to feel isolated. Then it says that because faith fills the void, they see God as, as literally as a friend. Uh, but, people, uh, but even that is not enough to replace the benefits of human contact. What is it here? Well, because atheists, they, to them there is no God. So they're, they're all, essentially what they believe is they're all alone. They have no one else. As a, as a Christian, I know that I'm not truly alone. I have God. So, as a Christian, I'm less likely to be depressed because I, I believe I'm not truly alone. I, I still have God, which an atheist says, I'm all alone. I have no one, you know? So, atheists have a higher suicide rate. It says down here, Relationships are key, are key for us humans to feel motivated, connected, and to give us a sense of purpose. New research by psychologists at the University of Michigan shows that among those who do feel lonely, those who believe in a religion are less likely to lose uh, the will to live because their faith uh, because their faith fills that void. I mean, again, if you're a Christian, if you if you're a religious person in general, like a Muslim, Hindu, Buddhist, whatever. Uh, well, not Buddhist, because Buddhists don't believe in a god, but, you know, Muslim, Hindu, whatever, like Sikh or whatever, you know, you have a god, you know, you you have a higher power you can turn to, basically. Now, obviously, Islam has a false god, obviously, obviously Allah is a false god, obviously, you know, Sikhism, you know, obviously has a false god, but the point is, is that people who are religious believe they have a god they can turn to, so they're not truly, they, they don't feel like they're truly alone. Atheists, they're just saying, you know, I have no one else I can turn to, I'm all alone, you know, so... Let's try to get this, this video out there to show that, you know, no, religious people are not less happier than atheists. In fact, when I got saved, I've been more happier than ever, actually. I, I, I used to be an atheist myself. I, myself, am a former atheist. When I was an atheist, I was a very bitter person. I was never happy. So, I can testify that when I was an atheist, that atheism actually made me unhappy. And I, I got depressed a couple of times. I, I was depressed when I was an atheist, too, a couple of times. So, I speak from experience. This is true. Atheism causes depression. So anyway, thanks for watching this video. God bless you. Goodbye.